Justin and Corey here. Weekly project review. Got an interesting one here today. Uh, Die stablecoin. Yeah, so jumping right over to CoinGecko. So Dai number 13. We've seen some pretty decent volume coming into this with the recent dump. So we, we tend to see the stablecoin dominance in the market start climbing up. Gives you a pretty good indication of what the market's thinking, what's going on. Um, at the time of this recording, we had that FTX debacle that's continuing to evolve. So there's definitely some some emotions in the market at the moment. But so Dai being a stable coin, this was one of the first stable coins to be backed by crypto and crypto alone. We're going to get into it a little deeper here, but. It is operating on the Ethereum network. So you get the smart contract address here, Etherscan for checking all your transactions through blockchain scan. And price is just going to be quite stable. A little bit of tokenomics here. So the max supplies, total supply circulating supply. So th this is fluid. Like most stable coins, it is fluid depending on market conditions as well as their reserves. So as more people... As DAI and some of these stable coins market dominance comes in and more and more volume comes in, that's where they pop up reserves, print more coin, uh, mint more coins and, and just have that supply there. But pretty cool project that's really opened up the, the stable coin space in DeFi was this was kind of its main main purpose. Uh, Maker, Maker, the company Maker developed DAI. Um, I've used it lots on a lot of these exchanges, uh, decentralized exchanges. It's worked fairly well, but we're going to dive in a little bit deeper and, and see what makes this tick. So coming up to our website here, making sure we're always using proper links when we're doing our research on this. That's what we love CoinGecko for. Corey? Yeah. One thing before we get too far ahead, uh, if you can go back to the CoinGecko uh, chart and just go to the max on the timeline. Uh, so this is where there has been some deviations and it's continued to evolve. So this is like any uh, stable coin in the crypto space is fairly experimental at this point. We saw Luna, um, you know, the collapse of Luna and the rebound ever since, um, as well as Dai was attacked as well. So um, the peg itself can be... Uh, attacked as well as there's other aspects. So Dai is actually backed by USDC, which I think should be. Um, I'm not sure if it's exactly on the website. The breakdown it should be. We're gonna uh, find out. We'll get into that here now. Yeah. So I just wanted to touch on that um, before we got too far ahead. Yeah. No. For sure. So um, Maker, pretty cool project. I mean, they've got governance. They They've, they're quite well known in the in the space and continue to develop new solutions and whatnot. They've got some really good partnerships. Uh, just again, bringing those solutions to more and more people in the crypto sphere. Um, learning. I wanted to go to all community. They've got a massive community. I've I've joined quite a few of their social channels and there's lots and lots of engagement, lots of interaction, and it is a it's a DAO setup, right? So you have you have this massive community all voiding on the direction of future development and roadmap and, and different spaces of partnerships and things like that. So very cool to see. Um, I did want to find a little bit more on the backing. So while I'm looking for that, Corey, what's your have you used I? You know, what what's your thoughts on the overall? Project? I don't. So that's where. We're, we always got to be very careful with stable coins and what we're backing. Um, I love the idea, but it's kind of the same thing as the internet or anything else as far as new technology comes out. Um, it was on a platform that I also don't use much. I don't use Maker. Um, nothing against it by any means. It's just more institutional focused where I'm much more... Degen, uh, if you want to put it that way, if you're familiar with the term in the space. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot with Maker. Um, for the most part, Dai, uh, where I really started paying attention to it was when it got attacked, which is usually the case, right? And then the resulting developments from there um, is where I 
there's a bit, it's not necessarily a sour taste into my mouth, but you know, if we're going to use an asset to get away from the U S dollar, then having the majority of our collateral being USDC, which is a regulated stable coin that can be frozen, um, gives me some major concerns. If they can freeze the underlying asset. That asset is likely going to, you know, <laughs> be impacted. Uh, considerably and it was a high percentage i want to say it was like 70 percent or something like that so i'm not sure if they they don't have to obviously show their results or show their breakdown like uh usdc does but uh, it was pretty high so you know that's where ethereum and some of the other backing does go up and down in value um I don't know. I've got a different philosophy on what a stable asset should be. I don't believe that we should be tying it to the US dollar, for instance, which is not a stable asset. You know, $1 equals $1, but the buying power, as we've seen, especially recently, uh, but if we look back over the last, you know, 50, 60, 70 years, that buying power has dwindled to nothing, a fraction of what it was to begin with, right? So uh, I'm more interested in if I'm looking at backed like physically backed stable coins, it's gold, silver, real estate. Um, you know, so this is getting into some more complex territory with the SEC where I'm looking for assets that I can leverage and produce a yield. You know, maybe that's ATMs, rental properties, stuff like that, um, that are going to outperform inflation as an asset itself, as well as I can earn yield off of that. That's why we love cryptos. Uh, because there are multiple forms, multiple levels that we can leverage and uh, have opportunities at our fingertips. DAI is absolutely a tool. Um, and I think it's a definitely a step in the right direction, but there's a lot of concerns, you know, for me. But, I, I, you know, I use BUSD, I use <laughs> USDC, I use USDTs. I mean, USD, I've had this conversation with a few different people lately. And it's just like, where do I store my value and assets? And I mean, you got to look, that's, uh, that's a massive question, you know, store it in Mexican pesos. We're seeing the U S dollar drop now um, where it could be a good rebound for some currencies if they're strong economies, but that's a lot of ifs, right? So um, currently we do have the U S dollar as the global reserve currency, um, stable coins, USDC, Die definitely a useful tool. I would be cautious with it. I'm very cautious with USDC. I'm very cautious with USDT as well. Um, they're not real crypto uh, as we'd be led to believe, where they can be frozen. You know, um, Die is a step in the right direction. BTC is still king for that regard. But um, yeah, things are going to continue to evolve. That's where DeFi is the future. Stable coins in various forms are going to be the future. Die. You know, it's going to continue to evolve. You know, they used USDC as a temporary measure, but as it gets bigger and uh, more adopted, it's going to become more stable as well. So um, I admit I haven't put a lot of focus into it lately. It could have evolved considerably in the last little bit too. So um, use it for what it is. It's a tool, but, you know, if there's underlying um, improvements in there as well, uh, yeah, definitely let us know in the comments. I'd be curious. It'd be a really good conversation to have because this is super important. It's the future. But uh, yeah, as we saw with FTX, you know, we can't verify that we're in trouble, right? With our reserves, <laughs> companies, reserves, companies in general, you know, it becomes so complex. So yeah, um, I don't have much else to say on that other than do your due diligence, do your research. Um, DeFi is a future. There's a lot of opportunity in there. And uh, yeah, stable coins are a huge part of it. So not to concern or you know scare anyone off, but there are advancements that need to be made as well. So DAI is, yeah, one of the first to really step up and uh, make a name for themselves. And they could be definitely a, continue to be a leader in the space as well regardless of setbacks you know that's how we grow that's how that's how crypto grows in general there's hacks there's you know manipulations or whatever that's yeah the space we're in so you can't knock a project just because they've had a couple upsets too right it's how they handle it so yeah 
that's about it for me. I don't I don't get excited over stable coins as far as you know typically we're looking for investments, right? So I keep my value in crypto as much as possible. But uh, the underlying, co- I mean, Maker is actually a trade that I'm in right now. So you know, just because I'm not in Dai doesn't mean that Maker and some of the other you know um, related projects and sister projects or whatever are going to do quite well too. So innovators. That's where I'm really looking for investments. So that could be, yeah, some little golden gems for people to research there as well. Yes, yeah, stable coins definitely have a unique solution they bring to the table and, and being able to, you know, abide by some of the regulations that are coming through. Luna really set the precedence of, of stable coins and really put that into the, the community's mind about, you know, how stable are these stable coins? What's backing them? So die being from maker and having such a massive, massive community and influence in the space. It, it's definitely worth doing research. I've, I've used it in the DeFi space. When I first started, I was taking profits and then I would put up my die for liquidity and just make it work for me a little bit. And I, I I've never had an issue. Um, I did find some stuff that showed what was backing it. But again, they don't have to be transparent with that, uh, the way that project set up. So it's it's definitely worth taking a look at. Um, definitely dive into Maker as a company and, and some of the solutions they're bringing. They've, they've wide stretch solutions across the industry. So very interested to watch them evolve and, and see the community's involvement with their direction. So. Absolutely. And that's it for me, Justin. Any uh, that was a great final wrap up. But any closing words for finishing up the video? No, like Corey said, we, we we'd love to love to hear from you and have some of these conversations, these back and forth. There's there's so many different projects out there, and everyone's going to have a different viewpoint or come across some different information. So we can come together and really have a a discussion on it. I think we can really build our understanding of these projects and and be a little smarter with our investments and our and our money as a group. So, yeah, getting uh, into the DeFi space or talking mentioning DeFi, you know, NFTs could be that next future stable value, right? So, more to come. We will see you same time, same place next week. Let us know in the comments what you like best, what you like us to get to discuss a little bit more in depth, and uh, any future topics as well. So that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.